My name is Dritz Sturden, and I was taken. Aboard an illithid ship, infected, and with only what could be found, I armed myself best I was able, and found others also attempting escape. An intellect devourer calling itself us. A fierce Githyanki warrior called Lazel. The mysterious cleric who calls herself Shadowheart. The ship found itself in Avernus where its local residents did not take kind to the trespass. Mindflayer and Cambion, Thrall and Imp lay dead all about us. Demons, devils, fiends and mind flayers not enough. I found to my distress more than a dragon attempting to cook me for its next meal. By grim luck or dark fate, we got the ship back to what I hoped was Faerun, though the vessel was not long for this plane, and as for myself... I only have more questions. Mm. You're alive. I'm alive. How is this possible? I was hoping you might know that. I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. Do you have any idea where we are? No. I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. First things first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. So you want to stay together, then? We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. All right, let's get going then. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. Survival isn't such a distant prospect. Hurry! I've got one of those 
brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? Easily. Stand back. There. Can you see it? If you want to keep that darling neck of yours. And you, keep your distance. No need for this to get messy. I need him alive. Stow that blade or I'll show you just how messy things can get. Uh, promises, promises. But I have other business, I'm afraid. Now, I saw you on the ship, didn't I? Nod. Try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. <laughs> what was that? What's going on? It's the Mind Flayer's worm. It's connected us. The worm? Of course. That explains things somewhat. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Apology accepted. I might have done the same were the rules reversed. Uh -huh. A kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. The strong and silent type. All right. Please tell me you at least know something about these worms. Yes, unfortunately they'll turn us into mind flayers. Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although... It hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Control it? We need to get rid of them. Well, yes, of course. But first things first. You should come with us. It would be safer traveling together. You know, I was ready to go this alone. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. There. A mind flayer. And it's hurt. That thing's bound to be dangerous, even if injured. Best be careful. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. You feel hate, and you deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. The monster lies exhausted. Defeated, its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Monster. Death is too good for it. 
dead goblins over there. Worth checking for supplies, maybe. What's going on with that rope? Looks unstable somehow. We'll approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. No need to apologize, but are you all right? A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Norseloid as well. I was, yes. Then I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Couldn't have phrased it more repellently myself. No use sugarcoating it, is there? The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. I can tend to basic wounds and ailments, but alien parasites? I'm afraid not. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? It sounds like a plan. You're welcome to join me. Most excellent. A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh. But before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. For I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. Take a few risks. You both twice as tall as me, but I'm half the bloody backbone! But we don't know what that thing even is. And what about the crypt? I'm telling you, it's a ship. And the crypt can wait. Mari and Barton have been trying to break in for days. Now we... Stop! Got ourselves competition already. That's our ship. That ship, as you call it? It's full of monsters. I wouldn't go near it if I were you. Well, uh, in that case, come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese, no? Nobody's getting any damn cheese! Now move it! Where do you give a book? Everything 
doing all right out there? Gimblebog ran. Your friends abandoned you. Yeah. Well, I always were a bit soft. But I've got plenty of friends who ain't soft. Come in here and you can meet them. The intellect of ours have given me my old confidence back. However, I have not truly earned it as this fight quickly taught me. What was once play for me became a truly lethal challenge of what skills I still retained. The tadpole had taken everything, and I have yet to get it back. Let's take you first. <laughs> Scribes. No sign of a struggle. That's Jurgen, scribe of the dead. I didn't think anyone still worshipped him. To death. Fools. Rising from the dead just to protect some dusty old baubles. This book is far lighter than it should be with such a massive lock. opens, a loose page comes with it. Magic pulses from the parchment. What was once script is now an obliterated scrawl. You have a sense these are names, a list. But of what? These are the names of gods, once lost but now restored after the second sundering. The last three names in this book sit close together, but are so devastated by the scroll as to be unreadable. Entire pantheons have dwindled and been reborn, silently recorded by this book.
So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me, right as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? A peaceful undead. Interesting. Why aren't you attacking me? Because that would be senseless. Wilt thou answer my question? Yes, ask away. So, I ask again, what is the worth of a single mortal life? Each life is of infinite value and merits sacrificing everything for. And thus, balance is achieved. If all are at war, none can win. Very well. I am satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. You can set it all on fire.